When Apple's iOS 11 arrives this fall, it will deliver some long-awaited changes to live photos, a feature that works by capturing a series of burst photos for playback as a short GIF-like video clip. You can easily relive the moment surrounding a live photo by utilizing 3D touch technology with a firm press on the screen. A common complaint with the original live photos was the inability to set key frames, or image thumbnails. Often, users would find a better picture-worthy moment within the live photo gallery than the final key image selected automatically by iOS. With iOS 11, you can now tap edit and skim through each frame contained in your live photo. Once you find the perfect moment, just tap make key photo to set that frame as your final photo. This can be a huge help for memories you thought were ruined by a blurry photo. So we recommend saving your blurry live photos until iOS 11 is released. Also new is the ability to trim the length of live photos. iOS 11 users will be able to move the handles on each side of the screen to trim the length of their live photo. This is very useful for getting rid of any harsh movements or areas of your live photo you don't want to be seen, as well as optimizing the length of the clip to be used with one of the three brand new effect options. Swipe up from the photo view to access the new loop, bounce, and long exposure effects. The loop effect replays your live photo indefinitely, just like a GIF. The bounce effect does the same thing, except it plays in reverse once it reaches the end of the clip. Finally, the long exposure mode combines multiple frames to create a unique effect that mimics long exposure photographs. These look best with moving objects against a still background, like a waterfall for example. What makes live photos even better is the ability to share them with friends, even those without iOS 11 installed. However, live photos encoded with loop and bounce effects will be displayed as video files, instead of constantly replaying live photos on devices running iOS 10 and below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.